Welcome back future medicals. In this video, we are going to look at some interesting facts around AIMS New Delhi. Do you know which state within India sends the most candidates to AIMS New Delhi? It was an interesting question and I started looking at some data and I could figure out which state sends the maximum number of students to AIMS New Delhi. I have taken the last five years data that is from 2020 until 2024 and I have looked at how many students have gone into AIMS New Delhi from each state in that particular year and I have found what is the total number for the last five years. So that is the data I am going to present now and if you are interested whether your state sends the maximum number of students to AIMS New Delhi, continue to watch this video. So AIMS New Delhi, of course you all know this is a dream college for most of the medical aspirants in India. It is a college that is consistently ranked as number one by many rankings. You take NIRF ranking, you take Outlook, you take India Today, whatever ranking you look at, AIMS New Delhi will be right at the top. This college started in the year 1956. That's almost like 70 years since it started. With that introduction, let's get into the actual numbers which you are looking for in this video. So this medical college offers 132 seats per year. That is 125 seats to Indian residents and seven seats are given to foreign nationals. Again, these seven seats for foreign nationals, there is a lot of confusion over the years. Initially, it was called the NRA quota. Then it became foreign nationals only. Then it became foreign nationals excluding OCI. Then it became foreign nationals including OCI. So it kept changing. But roughly, uh, we know that seven seats are considered under foreign national quota. So including the foreign national quota, AIMS New Delhi offers 132 seats. So since I said I'm going to look at five years data, over the five years, totally 660 candidates were admitted to AIMS New Delhi for MBBS program. Now let us look at state-wise and I will show you the top state first and then I will go in terms of descending order. Rajasthan is right at the top. This is the number one state when you take the total number of seats uh, for the last five years. 2020, it sent 13 candidates. 21, it sent 15 candidates. 22, it went up to 19. Then it went up to 22. And last year, it sent nearly 29 candidates to AIMS New Delhi. Out of 132 seats, 29 candidates are from Rajasthan. So the total number comes to about 98. Out of 660 candidates, 98 candidates are from Rajasthan. No wonder Rajasthan is the coaching capital for MBBS and uh, JE entrance exams. Uh, we all know that. But of course, looking at the data, Rajasthan sends the maximum number of candidates. And consistently, the number also has increased starting from 2020. At the second place, we have Andhra Pradesh. And total number of candidates from Andhra Pradesh is 74 candidates right now in AIMS New Delhi. But surprisingly, in 2024, the number has dropped drastically. From 20 to 23, you could see that the numbers are somewhere between 15 to 20. And suddenly in 2024, the number has dropped to just five candidates. Is it because the exam became easy? Andhra Pradesh does not have much advantage. I'm not sure because Andhra Pradesh and Telangana are known to be uh, very coaching specific, coaching intensive kind of states where uh, students start coaching as early as sixth standard, right? I have some friends from these states and they used to tell me that the coaching starts as early as sixth standard in their schools. So probably I'm surprised why the uh, uh, numbers have come down for Andhra Pradesh. I will also show you the numbers for Telangana shortly. But as of now, 74 candidates have been sent by Andhra Pradesh in the last five years. At the third place, we have Maharashtra. Maharashtra has sent 55 candidates. So that's an average of about 11 candidates every year. Telangana comes at number four uh, and they have sent 50 candidates in the last five years. Once again, you could see that there is a drastic drop or significant drop in 2023 and 24. Particularly 2024, you could see that they have sent only two candidates. From as high as 15 candidates in 2020, in 2024, they have sent only two candidates. I do not know why this has happened. We need to look at the 2025 data. Uh, it could also be Andhra Pradesh and Telangana 
are losing interest in medical and moving more towards engineering, JEE, IITs, NITs. I'm not sure. We have to wait and see 2025 data. But the 2024 data is slightly uh, shocking for me compared to what has happened in the previous years. But anyway, let's wait for 2025. But candidates, if you are someone watching from Andhra or Telangana, can you tell me what is the reason? Do you think that the numbers has drastically dropped? At the fifth place, we have Uttar Pradesh. They have sent 49 candidates in the last five years. Kerala have sent 40 candidates in the last five years. West Bengal has sent 38. Haryana has sent 37. Delhi, the home state where uh, Ames New Delhi resides, they have sent only 31 candidates. The two uh, half of them has come in only one year, that is 2020. After that, the numbers have been very dismal, which is about three to five candidates only from 21 to 24. So uh, Delhi also has lost uh, the competition to other states. Bihar has sent about 30 candidates in the last five years. Karnataka has also has sent 30 candidates. Tamil Nadu comes at number 12. They have sent 22 candidates. The good news for Tamil Nadu candidates is the numbers are slowly increasing. In 2020, only two candidates, 21 and 22, four candidates, 23 and 24, we have six candidates each. So probably sometimes I hear from Tamil Nadu students, they are slightly scared to go outside the state and study. Now these numbers may be a good indication. So ponga. So you will be taken care of. There are enough Tamil students. So maybe you will be getting sufficient support. So there you ponga if you are Tamil Nadu in the video. At number 13, we have Gujarat, which has sent about 19 candidates. 14th place, Punjab with 18 candidates. Madhya Pradesh has sent 17 candidates. These are the top 15 states uh, in terms of the total number of candidates that has been sent to Ames New Delhi. At the 16th place, we have Odisha, which have sent 10 candidates, Tripura 7, Jharkhan 5, Chhattisgarh 4, Chandigarh, Union Territory of Chandigarh 4, Jammu and Kashmir 3, Himachal Pradesh 3, Uttarakhand 2, Assam only one candidate that has been sent in 2022, Goa has sent only one candidate in 2022. So these are the states which has sent at least one candidate to Ames New Delhi. Now we are going to see some of the foreign countries which also have sent students through the foreign national quota. Nepal has sent nine candidates in the last five years. Bhutan has sent two candidates, the two only in 2020. After that, there is no representation from Bhutan. Dhaka or Bangladesh has sent one candidate in 2023 and they don't have any representation other than 2023. So that's the total numbers or total state-wise distribution of candidates in each year from 2020 to 24. Now, looking at these data, looking at these numbers, what do you think? What kind of information can you get from this? What kind of insights can you share with us? Please let me know your views in the comments. That will be helpful for me to do further videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.